Good day, ladies and gents, and welcome back to the Tinkerbox. Today we have what I think is probably the best compact clock there is. Now, I was messing around with comparators, and I discovered this. A comparator and its second mode with a constant signal looped back onto itself pulses. Now, by itself, this isn't extremely useful, because when, with it pulsing, it pulses too fast for anything to really happen. See, the uh, a piston stays extended, the torch stays lit, not the torch, the uh, repeater stays lit. There's not a lot you can do with it. However, if you come in here and throw a repeater into the mix, all of the sudden, you have a perfect one-tick pulser. Or a two-tick pulser. Or a three-tick pulser. Or a four-tick pulser. Or a five-tick pulser. Or a six-tick pulser. Or a seven-tick pulser. Or an eight-tick pulser. So, as you can see, it's very useful, and very simple, and very compact. So, the setup for this, if you haven't caught on, is very quite simple. You take a redstone block here to provide a constant source of power. You throw down a comparator, you right-click it once, you feed the signal around like this so you can feed it back onto itself, and, whoops, not a comparator, and you throw in a repeater, and you have for yourself a really nice one tick, two tick, three tick, in between one and eight ticks. So I could throw this guy on there and look, it's two tick, three tick, four tick, five tick. It's really, really good, really compact, really simple, and I think it's really neat and helpful. If you ever need something to be activating constantly, maybe you're building a map and you have command blocks, or maybe you have some sort of trap you want to set off, because look, 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 look at this. All right, yeah, yeah, you see where I'm going. Say someone activates a trap that you want to set off a dispenser and fill that full with arrows. Once they activate the trap, it activates this piston, which activates this redstone setup, and you fill that full with arrows for messing with you. Whoops. Got it stuck there. There we go. Ooh. Right. Needs to be like this. For this to work, you have to have the repeater right here. You can't just have the one here. It has to be this one. My bad. Sorry for that mess up. So, there's, as you can see, there are a lot of things you can do with this. If you found it helpful and you haven't already, please consider like, commenting, and subscribing. It means the world to me. And I thank you guys all for watching this video, and I hope to see you all next time. Toodles!